ಶ್ರೀ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭನಂ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರವೂ ತಿರುಗಾಂಕೂರೂ ಅಭೇದ್ಯವುಮಾಯಿಟ್ಟುಳ್ಳ ಬಂಧವಾಣುಳ್ಳದ ಕೃತಯುಗತ್ತಿ ಆರಂಭಿಚ ಅನಿರಂಜಿತನಾಥ್ ಮಾರ್ತಾಂಡವರ್ಮ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಆಧುನಿಕ ತಿರುಗಾಂಕೂರ ಸುಸ್ಥಿರವಾಕಪ್ಪಟ್ಟು ಅವಸಾನ ಕಿರೀಟ ಅವಕಾಶಿಯಾಯ ಈ ಚಿತ್ತರಿದನಾಳ್ ವರೆ ಮಂಜುನಾಟಿಂಡ ಚರಿತ್ರ ನೀಡುತ್ತು ಆಧುನಿಕ ತಿರುಗಾಂಕೂರಿಂಡ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರಂಥಪುರೆಯಿ ತಾಳಿಯೋಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಚೇಪೇಟಿಲು ಸುರಕ್ಷಿತವಾಗಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷಿಸಿಟ್ಟುಂಡ The Travancore royal dynasty is a descendant of the Chera clan. This land was first known as Shri Varunkod, which literally means the land of prosperity, and then Thiruvidamkod, and finally as Travancore. History reveals that Ettuvetil Pillamar, the local chieftains, had a significant role in carrying out the cold murder. They drowned 5 out of the 6 children. Veliya Kottaram, the residence of Aditya Varma, was set on fire and the Maharaja was poisoned. The princess with her only son fled to Nidumangar. During her lifetime itself, Umayamma Rani adopted two princes, Unni Kerala Varma and Rama Varma, and two princesses from Kola Tanada. In the year 880 of the Malayalam era, or 1705 AD, the junior princess Uma gave birth to a baby prince, whom history hails as Aniram Thirunal Marthanda Varma, who later became famed as the maker of modern Travancore. When Shri Padmanabhadasa Vanchipala Aniram Thirunal Marthanda Varma Kulasekara Perumal became the ruler at the age of 23, the state was in the vortex of war. He had to face enemies from both within and beyond the borders. In Travancore, the Maharajas called themselves with devotion and pride Padmanabhadasas and the princesses Shri Padmanabha Sevanis. For them, Shri Padmanabha Swami is supreme in every respect. The noted historian P. Shangulni Menon, who authored the seminal work on Travancore history, has written, They thought that anything done against the king who is the representative of Lord Sri Padmanabha Swami, would be hostile to the deity. Ramavarma Maharaja, the nephew of Marthandavarma Maharaja, succeeded him as a ruler of Travancore when he was 34 years old. He made the Revenue Department and the Law and Justice Department flawless. Kartika Thirunar was born on the 5th of Karkidagam, 1899, son of Kartika Thirunal Parvati and Kilimanur Kerala Varma. It was during the reign of Kartika Thirunal that Travancore had to face challenges from the Mysore Sultan. The main reason was the friendly coalition between Travancore and the British authority. The Mysore Sultan demanded 18 million panams for not attacking Travancore and Cochin. Dharmaraja refused the demand outright. Keshav and Kuti, whom history refers to as Raja Keshavdas, sowed the seeds of an efficient and just administration. A native of Kunlatur Taluk, he rose from an office clerk to the post of Dalava in 1788. He is the founder of Alapura Port and the Chala Market in Thiruvanandapuram. In 
It was during this abominable and most sorrowful period that Talakulat Karyakar Velu Thambi, who later came to be known as Velu Thambi Dalava, emerged on the scene like a meteor. Velu Thambi was appointed Dalava in 977 of the Malayalam era. Shri Padmanabhadasa Balarama Varma died at the age of 29. The successor to the throne was Sri Padmanabha Sevani, Vanchi Dharma Vardhini, Raja Rajeshwari, Rani Gauri Lakshmi Bhai. She was only 20 at that time. When Rani Gauri Lakshmi Bhai died, the senior most member of the Travancore royal family, Rani Gauri Parvati Bhai, was just 13. The two princes, Ramavarma and Martanda Varma, were only 17 and 2 months old. According to the beliefs and customs of the time, the Europeans were considered untouchables. Brahmins and Kshatriyas, who occupied high positions in the caste hierarchy, never mingled with them. What followed was a golden age in the history of Travancore under the reign of Sri Padmanabhadasa, Vanchipala, Ramavarma, Kulasekara, Kiridapati, Swadi, Ramaraja, Mannai, Sultan Maharaja, Raja Bahadur, Shamshir, Jang Maharaja. Renowned as Garba Sriman, Maharaja Swadi Tirunal ascended the throne on the 21st of April 1829 at the age of 16. He became the Maharaja while he was still in his mother's womb and hence came to be known as Garba Sriman. Swadi Tirunal bestowed Pattum Parivatom on Pana Pilla Aikuti Narayani Pilla on the 1st of September 1830. The mortal remains of Maharaja Swadi Tirunal were cremated after a funeral procession, the like of which Travancore had never witnessed before. People from all walks of life paid their last respects to their beloved Maharaja. After the demise of Swadi Tirunal Maharaja, the Travancore throne was adorned by Sri Padmanabhadasa Vanchipala Martanda Varma Kula Shekara Kiridapati Uttran Tirunal. The Maharaja sent an ivory throne to an international exhibition organized by Prince Albert at Crystal Palace in London in 1851. The throne attracted great admiration and Queen Victoria was awestruck by it. She sent a letter to the Maharaja which received statewide attention when it was carried on an elephant from the Huzur office to the Darbar Hall and Devan Krishna Rao read it out aloud. Vishagam Tirunal, his successor, was equally brilliant and authored several works. He encouraged translations of science works by eminent authors. Vishagam Tirunal was on the throne of Travancore only from 1880 to 1885. Dharmosmal Kuladevatam, charity is our household divinity. The motto of the Travancore royal family was reflected in his life and times too. Sri Moolam Tirunal became the Maharaja with the demise of Vishagam Tirunal. Raja Ravi Varma, the master painter of Travancore, lived in the period of Sri Moolam Tirunal. At the age of 14, Ravi Varma came to Tiruvanandapuram with his uncle and showed his paintings to Ayilam Tirunal. 
Deeply impressed by his works, Ailyam Thirunal made arrangements at Tiruvannandapuram for him to continue his artistic pursuits. The Maharaja and the princess, to perpetuate the lineage, decided to adopt two princesses, Setu Lakshmi and Setu Parvati, both of the Mavelikara family. On 22nd Tulam, 1088, the junior princess delivered a male child in the asterism of Chittira, who later came to be known as Sri Chittira Tirunal Balarama Varma, the ever-revered last ruler of Travancore. The ecstasy of Sri Mulam Tirunal knew no bounds. The Lord blessed the kingdom with an heir apparent. Soon after the birth of Sri Chittira Tirunal, the junior princess gave birth to a princess, Kartika Tirunal, and later to a prince, Uttradam Tirunal. At the time of the demise of Sri Mulam Tirunal, the heir apparent, Chittira Tirunal Balarama Varma, was only 12 years of age. Hence, Artingal senior princess Rani Setu Lakshmi Bai took over the royal administration as regent. She ruled the country remarkably for a period of seven years. During the early years of the regency, the historical Vaikam Satyagraha took place and received national attention. Gandhiji visited Vaikam and addressed the agitators. During this trip, he visited the Kaudiyar Palace and met the Maharanis. Sri Chittura Tirunal's most important, famous, progressive and unique contribution to history was the Temple Entry Proclamation in 1936. The proclamation by His Highness Sri Padmanabhadasa Vanchipala Sri Ramavarma Kulashekara Kiridapati Manne Sultan Maharaja Ramavarma Raja Bahadur Samshir Jung, Knight Grand Commander of the Most Eminent Order of the Indian Empire, Maharaja of Travancore, issued under date the 27th Tulam, 1112, corresponding to the 12th of November, 1936. Even after quitting the status of Raja Pramukha, Chittira Tirunal led the rest of his life as Padmanabhadasa. With the demise of His Highness Chittira Tirunal Maharaja of the Travancore Royal Family, his younger brother, His Highness Uttradam Tirunal Marthandavarma, became the head of the Travancore Royal Family. Leading a pious life after dedicating everything to Lord Padmanabha and declaring himself to be Padmanabha Dasa, or servant of the Lord, continues to be part of our history. And thus, the dynasty which came into existence in the Treta Yuga which continued as Travancore during the reign of Martanda Varma, and which witnessed the golden age of the multifaceted musical emperor Maharaja Swati Tirunal, now has become part of history. Witness to this tumultuous change, Uttradam Tirunal Martanda Varma continues as a humble vassal of Sri Padmanabha, leading a calm and contented life. Miles to go before I sleep. <laughs>